Hello and welcome to Longship Gaming. Today we're playing some Marvel Champions. It's going to be Penny Parker in her spider suit up against Mansion Attack, where the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants um, attacks Xavier's school. So I guess she's uh, at Xavier's on some kind of um, multiversal exchange program where she's working in Xavier's lab. All the X-Men and the mutants are, are out for some reason. Uh, but Penny is there with a, a whole bunch of other web warriors who come to, to check it out. Maybe, uh, maybe Professor Xavier need to make some extra cash and lease out one of the science, uh, science labs that, that, uh, Shi'ar tech that might, uh, enhance the spider suit. Well, anyway, this is what's happening. And unfortunately, Penny Parker happens to be there when the Brotherhood attacks. So... Uh, we've gone with a protection deck. Uh, you can go two different ways, really, with a protection for Spider Suit. You can either go the repurpose route, which is quite powerful, uh, to scrap those tech cards late in the game for some really big punches. Or my preferred, really, is uh, when you have a Web Warrior, go heavy into Web Warriors because they're all so very good as allies. It's a, it's a great um, aspect or, or great uh, archetype. To play with. I, f I find it a lot of fun. So um, I will link to the deck um, where I found it on the Marvel Champions database in the description below. But to quickly go over what we have, we have Silk, uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales, the protection version, Spider-UK. For our events, we have returned the favor, two copies of that, to discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until you discard a treachery, reveal that treachery, deal five damage to the villain, uh, we have three copies of Thwip Thwip. Uh, deal one damage to a web warrior character you control. Place a total of two stun status cards on up to two enemies. So, why this one is so good. Um, one of the locations, I'll get to this in a minute, uh, at Xavier's, um, gives all characters steady. And this is a way to, uh, to get through that. Um, to just immediately place two stun on one character. Uh, but it also very useful if you want to stun... Uh, the main villain, and when they come out sometimes as, uh, as a minion, just for a turn if you really have to, but an invaluable card for the scenario. And three copies of Spider Tingle, so an interrupt. When you would reveal an encounter card, deal one damage to a web warrior character you control. If that card is a treachery, cancels when revealed effects, and discard Spider Tingle. Very potent card uh, to make those uh, shadows of the past go away. And three copies of Med Team. Uh, Spider Suit has a lot of hit points. She has 14. Um, but you still want to keep them as healthy as possible. And this can work, of course, with your allies to, to keep them healthy and doing the things that they need to do on their turn. But mostly, in my experience, the Med Teams are used for, uh, for Penny Parker more so than the allies. For our basic cards, for our allies, we have Spider-Man Peter Parker. We have Ghost Spider. Spider-Man, Hobie Brown. Three copies of the Cess situation, which helps to address uh, the extremely low hand size that Spider has, especially early in the game. Well, forever in the game, to be honest. <laughs> um, we have a copy of Unbreakable, because she has at points over 14, so gain steady. So, in case we don't get the, um, the location at the school that gives everybody steady, this one will really help us out. And Web of Life and Destiny, I mean, it's a free play card because we're a web warrior uh, and uh, just allows us to get some card draw. And, of course, Genius, Energy, and Strength using the X-Men themed resource cards because, well, we are at Xavier's school. So for the scenario, I don't have it laid out like I normally do. Um, the way that the setup works for this is extremely random. The only thing that's uh, the standard here is the save the school environment. I'll go with that one first. So, as a first response, after the villain is defeated, if there are X villains in the victory display, the players win the game as per the rulebook. So, we're playing an expert, of course. So, the villains are going to be on their B side. And we need to defeat three of the villains uh, before we lose two of the locations. So, we can only safely lose one. Um, when I played through this one the first time... Um, I misread that. It turns out that this 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 one here, the one A of the scheme, counts as part of the main scheme. So you can really only you can't. It's not losing three parts of the mansion. You can only lose half of the mansion, and then the game's over, uh, and not in your favor. 
Um, so anyway, otherwise deal each player an encounter card and reveal the next villain if a minion with the same title as the new villain is engaged with a player. The new villain, uh, sorry, discard that minion and the villain activates against that player. So that uh, just, just means when we defeat one of the villains, we get another villain in the queue. Um, there are four villains, of course. We've got Toad, Blob, Pyro, and Avalanche. I'm not going to go over each of their individual abilities, uh, just that they all have toughness, which is my complaint really about the Mutant Genesis box. Way too much toughness in this set. It, it didn't really need to be that way. Um, and too much steady and stalwart, really. Um, but there's ways to get around those. But I think the toughness thing, way too much toughness in the set. Uh, we're going to, of course, shuffle these up and draw them randomly as we defeat them. So we'll never know what we're going to get. And of course, underneath the Brotherhood Strikes, part of our setup, we put the Save the School environment into play, shuffle all copies of the main scheme, and stack them under this scheme. Shuffle the villains together while looking to create the villain deck. Top card of this deck is in play. And of course, when you flip over, when revealed, deal each player a face down encounter card, advance to the next card of the main scheme deck, add this card to the victory display. So this one leaves the game. We know that we're going to get an encounter card right away. This is going to go away, so it's out of the game. And when we come back from our little setup break, uh, we'll have the villain that's been randomly chosen, and we will have our first location in the game. So we will be shuffling up, and we will be right back. All right, we're back, we're set up and ready to go. So our randomly generated um, main villain is Blob. He has a scheme of two and attack of two, toughness of course. Force response after Blob attacks and damages a character, stun that character. Uh, he has 19 health, uh, and appropriately I suppose, since he's featured in the picture there, uh, we are fighting in the cafeteria. Each character gains retaliate one. Uh, so, our starting three card or four cards are assess situation, Aunt May and Uncle Ben, Host Spider, and Spider Tingle. All these are actually really good for us. Uh, especially the Host Spider, considering the stunning the Blob is capable of doing. Uh, Aunt May and Uncle Ben is just straight up value. So I think on this uh, this turn we are going to. Um, so Spire Tingle is valuable too. Host Spider is expensive though. Uh, we're going to drop Assess and Spider Tingle with the hope we draw into something better like resource cards. Web of Life and Destiny is good because that's free. And Thwip Thwip, which is great because we can stun. Okay. We are going to exhaust the suit in maintenance mode and draw two, return the favor, Spider UK. All right. Let's see. Well, we're going to flip over. Oh no, we're not flipping over first. That's crazy. Uh, we're not going to be returning the favor, so we're going to play out Aunt May and Uncle Ben. So, because we're an alter ego, uh, we're going to exhaust it and discard the top three cards of our deck, and we get any of them that are spider cards, spider suit cards, into our hand. Spider? No. Spider? No. Spider? Yes. All systems go is a good one. Okay. So now we're going to flip over. Um. Web of Life and Destiny is free. Because we are a web warrior. Um, Host Spider is just way too valuable. But also Spider UK is really good for us. Hmm. Oh, 
all systems go would be good. If we put out host spider, no. I think most of it, because we have spider web of life and destiny out, the most value we're going to get is probably spider UK. So, we are going to hang on to the host spider, I think, out of everything. So, spy using the host, thwip, thwip, and all systems go. We're going to play out spider UK. Um, and do we thwart? Yeah. Mm. He's probably going to go down from the attack from the blob anyway. So the more damage I can do to blob, the better. So we're going to attack. It's going to do two damage. Oops, not three. Two damage. Gets the tough off. Actually, just three damage because they're the retaliate. So I should have left a three on there. Um, yeah, we're so hanging on a host spider. Draw two. Genius, all systems go, host spider. Okay. <coughs> Pardon me. Seems going to go on. Uh, Blob's going to attack. Spider UK is going to block. So he's going to do two, three, four, which is going to be more than enough to kill him. But Retaliate's going to do one. And because he defended, I've got two Web Warrior cards. No, three Web Warrior cards because of Web of Life and Destiny. So he's going to go down to four. Web of Life and Destiny draws me a card because the ally left play. So med team. First encounter card. Under Siege, join reveal, place three threat on this scheme for each Brotherhood of Mutants character in play. Well, there's only one. Next one, Inherited Burden. Flip, uh, so give it to Penny Parker. You may flip to Alter Ego form, choose to exhaust Penny Parker, remove Inherited Burden from the game. Choose and discard one interface. Haha, <laughs> no. So we're going to flip down, exhaust... Doesn't exhaust our suit, though. And Inherited Burden is removed. Okay. You know what? That actually was pretty well-timed for us. I don't mind that at all. So that allows us to Aunt May and Uncle Ben. Uh, so, Spider? Yes. Spider? No. Spider? No. Med team, genius, all systems go, host spider, speed metal alloy. Ooh, okay. More interfaces. That's what we want to see. Um, let's flip. We are 100% playing out the host spider. And I feel... Can I get both out? Yes. So using the host spider to play all systems go to ready our interfaces. Uh, to use penny. Oh. Sorry, I'm going to have to flip over. Um, using your interface to pay now for 
Oh, sorry, speed metal armor. I have to stack these up. Things have gotten confusing already. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, we're going to thwart this. Uh, we are going to house spider to thwart again. So that turned out all right. And we have the speed metal alloy to protect us from blobs hit. So, all right, one, two, three. Psychic link, assess situation and Spider-Man, Peter Parker. Might actually be able to get him out. Okay. So Blob's gonna attack. We're gonna use our speed metal alloy to defend. So he's attacking for two. So four didn't take any damage, so we're not stunned. And counter card, Toad. All right, three health, not that hard to deal with. Uh, so, I think we definitely want, oh, first things of course, looking for spider cards, spider card, no spider card, okay. Um, Toad's a pain, so we want to get rid of him for sure. Could do it with Venom, but no. No, I think Spider-Man's a better choice. We have Wild Wild. We can do it with anything here. Yeah, okay, so. Wild. Wild. Assess to bring out Spider-Man. Trying to think if this is the best way to have done this, but it probably is. Okay, so we're going to attack. So uh, requirement we paid for that because we have the wild cards. Uh, after Spider-Man attacks or thwarts, choose another Web Warrior character and ready that character. So we're going to attack Toad, ready, and attack Toad again. So he's just gone. We're going to hang on to these two, the Psychic Link and Venom. Oh, got to remember, Retaliate's out there. So Spider-Man took another hit there. Okay, hanging on to those two. Just drawing one. Energy. Okay. Now I wonder, do I just defend? I think it's probably the best option for me. Because chances are he's not going to do any damage. I mean, I say that and then he, he probably will. So we're going <laughs> to... We're going to defend against this attack. Um, so two. So only two. And he takes one from the retaliate. I think I may have missed one earlier, but well, so be it. That's good. Um, and counter card. Uh, Toad activates if he's not in play, search and reveal him. So Toad is going to come back in. And I think that was it. So, Ant Man, Uncle Ben, Spider Card, Spider Card, yes. Fluid compressor is good. Cafeteria is getting kind of out of control up there. So, 
we're going to bring out the psychic link. For the plus two thwart. Uh, let's bring out Well, we know we're standing up, so we're going to stand up. We're going to... Hmm. Let's, okay, well, we're gonna thwart with Parker, which is going to, oh no, we're not gonna do that quite yet. Hold on. We're gonna thwart. Uh, Shall we use, yeah, you know what, we will. We'll use the psychic link, so that gets rid of all that. Then we're going to, use Spider-Man to attack Blob, I think. Which now readies us. Uh, it's going to draw us a card because we lost. Spider-Man. But I'm thinking I already did pick up the card. I think I might have. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so instead, we're just going to pay using Venom to pay for the compressor. Uh, and then we'll attack Toad. And so he's gone. Okay. So we now have all of our interfaces... I may have messed up, but I, I think I'm back to where I was. If anything, I'm just short one damage against um, against Blob. But yeah, we're in a we're in okay shape here. One, two, three. Okay. Grab a deployment, spider command, and go spider. Okay. Threat goes on, he's gonna attack. We will defend using the alloy. Two, it's only two. He takes one from the retaliate. Kind of card. Uh, so Pyro shows up. Man, these Brotherhood guys. Such teamwork. Luckily, only. Four, so I should be able to take him out pretty easily here. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to stand back up. We're going to web fluid compressor, take up pyro. We're going to use Aunt May and Uncle Ben to look at two cards. Spider card, nope. Spider card, yes. All systems go is excellent. Okay. So. We definitely want to be able to get Gwen out. We don't need rapid deployment, so we're going to use that to pay for Spider Command.
Uh, we will pay Spider for all systems go for all of our interfaces to stand back up again. We will use that, of course, to stand back up again. Um, then we're going to use three of our cards, three of our interfaces, to put out Ghost Spider. Gonna have Ghost Spider Thwart. Uh, and then we're going to attack for four. So Blob is down to six. And we take one from the Retaliate. Now the question is, do we take a turn to allow him to scheme just so we can get more cards for a really, really, really solid turn? Where I think, well, you know, you say this, I think we're in really good shape. So we're going to give that a shot. He has a low scheme. So hopefully we're able to contend with that on the following turn. We just want more cards. Uh, let's put these. Just have a, a lot of cards out. Okay. One, two, three, four. Web trap, strength, thwip, thwip, injection protocol. Okay. So, scheme. He's going to scheme for two. So that's, he's going to scheme for three. He's not avalanche, so he doesn't get an extra one. Good. Uh, exhaustion surge, so we exhaust our identity. Metamorphic Mayhem, when defeated, the player who defeated the scheme shuffles each shapeshifter card from the encounter discard pile into their deck. That one, I have learned from <laughs> many, many games against Mansion Attack, to leave that alone. I don't care about that plus one boost icon. I don't care. Okay, so, uh, back to us. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go looking for three spider cards. There's one. Not one. There's one. Wow. Okay. That paid off pretty well. We're going to flip over. Uh, let's thwart. Let's stand back up and attack using the compressor for four. So we'll take one. He's down to two. We're going to have Ghost Spider attack which is going to take him out. So now we have to shuffle up to see who we bring out. And it's going to be shuffled onto the table. It's going to be Toad. My least favorite one because if he damages a character, we discard cards. So we have to make sure he goes away real fast. And he's got hit points of 16. And he, like the rest of them, is tough. Okay. So. We could lock him, like stun lock him. It's 
So we're going to use the interface and discard a card. The discard, we're going to discard uh, uh, ejection protocol because we don't need it to stand us up. We're going to hit him for two to knock the tough off. So we take one from the retaliate. But then we have one of our interfaces left. So we're going to use that one and our rapid deployment to pay for the web trap. So he's going to take five and get stunned. We take one in retaliation. Oh, one thing we need to do, encounter card, because we defeated him. Okay. Um, we're hanging on to these ones. These are far too important for subsequent turns just to lock enemies into stuns. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to hang on to those. Which means we are not currently drawing any cards. But that is perfectly fine. Okay. Scheme goes on. He cannot attack. First encounter card. Uh, Pyro shows up again. Oh, Pyro. Uh, next one, Groundswell, Avalanche shows up. The gang is quite literally all here. Okay, let's find them. Oh, he was next up anyway. So Pyro, two scheme, zero attack, force response after Pyro attacks, discard the top two cards of your deck, take one into our damage trees, print, uh, printed resource icon, discard it this way. Avalanche, after Avalanche attacks you, exhaust a character you control. And he has five health, a scheme of one, attack of three. Well, I can tell you that they are about to get wrecked. Okay, so first things first, of course, as usual, Aunt May and Uncle Ben go looking for spider cards. Spider? No. Spider? No. Um. Let's, I think we're both going to do a web trap and a thwip thwip. We could use, hmm. We're going to stun toad, but that's just a given. Ghost spider will draw us a card. Search your deck, but there's nothing left in the deck. I could use spider command to draw the last card. What are we not going to play here? It's tough. It's a tough choice. Because <clears throat> we could discard a card. Oh, no. We exhaust it in an interface. Okay, that's all we... Oh, that's fine. So we're going to we're gonna draw the last card. And it's med team. That's fine. So now 
new counter card comes out and we reshuffle. That's fun. Oh, we have a guest appearance by a cat. Hello. You woke up from your very long nap, huh? Okay. You're adorable, but you can't play with my stuff. So there you go. Bye-bye. Okay. Um, so that's that. We can draw two more cards by... Oh, we can do a lot on this turn. Okay. So... We're going to attack Avalanche. Now we get to search our deck. The force, you know, they're both response and interrupt. So the interrupt happens first, so we search our deck for an identity specific event and i believe that is going to be all systems go Uh, so we are going to attack Avalanche, take him out. And because he was defeated, we don't get the... Oh, we forgot to, of course, draw another card from Web of Life and Destiny. So we have Spider-Man. Um, sadly, because we lost Ghost Spider, this isn't going to trigger. Oh, wait, it will after you play Spider-Man from your hand. All right, so. <laughs> oh, there's a lot to think about. Um, yeah. Well, we know that we're standing back up. For sure. And by standing up like that. We don't need to attack Pyro. We could attack Toad, bring him down to nine. So we take one. Um, Then we're going to use speed metal. Excuse me. Thank you. So many options here. Think, can think of a better way to do this. Okay, so we're going to use speed metal to pay for, and the strength to pay for the med team. So we're just going to put three count, two counters instead of three, and do that immediately to heal ourselves. Back up to 11. Then we're going to use the Psychic Link to pay for all systems go. All our interfaces stand back up. Okay. Now, we're of course going to host spiders stand back up. We're going to Take out Pyro.
then we are going to one, two, three, and four to put out Spider-Man. Uh, so after you play Spider-Man from your hand, stun and confuse an enemy if you control these three Web Warrior cards. So now I do, because this is after I play them. So I've got one, two, three. So, uh, Toad is going to be stunned and confused. We're going to hang on to this web trap. We're going to have Spider-Man thwart. We are going to flip down just to get more cards. And because we, we can safely do so right now for a turn. Yes, okay. So, everybody's up. One, two, three. So to add to web trap, we have assess situation, assess situation, and unshakable. None of them really matter. So, back to here. Oh, forgot to adjust this. No, he's down to nine. I forgot to adjust that. Okay, so he's down to nine. Okay. So he's confused. First encounter card. Caught off guard, discard an upgrade or support we control. Hmm. That's... Of anything, Spider Command. Next one, Hopping Mad. Uh... Toad activates if he's not in play, cert. Okay, so he's going to activate. So he's scheming for three, five. Oof. All right. Well, it was risky, but it, it paid off. Okay, so back to us. First thing we're going to do look for spider cards. Spider? No. Spider? Yes. Spider? Yes. Do we heal? Excuse me. Yes, we do. Do we want more cards? Hmm. No, we want to be able to do some good thwart. No, more so attacking than anything else. We can stand up anyway. We've got a really good thwart in rapid deployment. All right, we are uh, rich in abilities here. Okay, so... Gonna flip over. Uh, we're going to use rapid deployment. To thwart everything off of that. We're going to attack for four. So he's down to five. We take one. We will stand back up.
don't think we can take him out this turn. Which is okay. We'll get him really close. So we're going to have Spider-Man attack. So he's going to go down to three. Miles Morales gets taken out. Web of Life and Destiny will trigger. So we got Hobie Brown. Okay. That changes things a little. Um... Yeah. One, two, three for Hobie. Hobie will attack, so he'll take two. One from Consequential and one from... So, Toad goes down to one. And then we're going to take him out. Which is going to clear the stun. So now we're down. Not looking at who I draw. It's going to be Avalanche. Scheme of two, attack of four. Toughness, of course. After avalanche attacks, exhaust an ally you control. That's okay. Uh, he has 18 hit points. Uh, and then we are going to, although it's a bit of a waste of the damage, we are going to web trap him. So it knocks the tough off. We take a retaliate. But he is stunned. Okay. So just this last villain to take care of. And we have pretty much everything we need available to us. Okay. One, two, three. Thwip, thwip. And stun him again, Spider UK, and all systems go. All right, this will be a really good turn for us. So, threat goes on. He's stunned, he can't attack. First encounter card. Protect the students, hinder two. When defeated, the player who defeated the scheme searches their deck and discard pile for an ally and adds it to their hand. See, those, I, I think, champions needs more schemes like this. Um, I, I, ones in which you get some benefit from having defeated it. And this one's a pretty easy one for us to do. Yeah. I have an annoyed dog next to me. <laughs> okay, so, um, we're going to Psychic Link. Oh. Kitty's back. Kitty can go down here. Uh oh. There we go. Um, yes, so we're going to Psychic Link thwart this. So we can uh, deck and discard pile. Okay. Who do we want? I think we want this Spider-Man for more stunning. Uh, okay. Um, oh yeah, we forgot to Aunt May and Uncle Ben. Spider card? No. Spider card? No. Boo. Um, uh, we're going to, of course, stand back up. We're going to attack 
four, four. Take one in retaliation. We may be able to finish him off here. If we play this right. Um, we're going to Yeah, let's do that. So let's have Hobie attack. He's going to do one. He's going to leave play. And we now discard top three cards in the counter deck looking for boost cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my goodness, Hobie, you're so good. You go down fighting, you... Uh, Spider Punk. Okay, so now he's down to seven. I think we're in good shape here to we're gonna all oh we draw a card. Did we draw a card? Off of him going. Oh my goodness. I'm brain dead. <laughs> uh, okay. No, we didn't. So return the favor. That's not really gonna matter. No, we can do this a different way too. All right, so we're gonna use speed metal alloy to all systems go, everything stands up. All our interfaces, I should say. That's not an interface. We will, of course, stand ourselves up. We're gonna do four more, so he's down to three. Take another one. And then, yeah, you know what? Um, let's do let's do this the funny way. <laughs> so, speed metal alloy, psychic link, and Thw Thwip will pay for Spider UK. He's going to hit an attack for two. He'll take three. Um, and that's it. Um, actually, you know what? I could heal him. Yeah, why not? Let's heal him down. So he's got one. Not that it's really gonna matter. I'm just gonna hang on to these two. Everybody stands up. I mean, I could have done it another way with the, tre the treachery, but I think I'd rather have. Um, the uh, spider friends do it. Okay. Med team, return to favor Spider-Man. Uh, so, scheme goes on. Avalanche is going to attack. Spire UK gets in the way. Four plus, that's seven. Uh, Retaliate doesn't go off because he is defeated. However, um, he will take three in return because of uh, the WebWarrior cards that I have in play. So, he is gone. Wow. That, was, uh, that went pretty well. Um, I, I love the having all the, the spider friends um, in the deck. And, and it's so crucial to get all these interfaces out uh, so early. Uh, but in this case, you know, we got lucky in a way, you know, nobody really schemed out. So we were stuck on the cafeteria the whole time. Um, and uh, yeah, it uh, worked out pretty well. 
If I made a mistake there, I think maybe there was a couple of times when I forgot about Retaliate, especially when he had defeated uh, some of the allies. But I really think that ultimately the, the, the outcome was never in doubt. On the next turn, I had multiple ways of taking it, even if I skimped on a damage here or there. So let me know if you notice that. Um, these, <laughs> these games tend to go a little long, and sometimes your mind gets a little scrambled. But in the end, the uh, Brotherhood is defeated by... Penny Parker in the spider suit who came to visit Xavier's school and uh, really helped out when they needed it. All right, so until next time, happy gaming. Thank you so much for watching Longship Gaming. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. It will really help the channel to grow and improve. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when more Longship Gaming content goes live. Until next time, happy gaming.